Hello everyone and welcome back to another hot sauce video. I have here the March box from Hot Ones by Heatonist. Uh, three sauces this month. I got an email saying one of the sauces is a repeat from a, an earlier box. So two new sauces and one sauce that they've done before. Unfortunately, it's one of the sauces that I didn't really care for. We're going to open it and try it. We're gonna be, that's actually going to be the first sauce we try because it is um, Eye of the Scorpion and one of my, I'm almost out of my first bottle of that. So it took me almost over a year to actually go through that bottle. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I've used it here and there, um, but it's taken me like a year to go through it. And like if it's a sauce I really like, I'm usually done with it within like a month, maybe two months. So let's go ahead and get this box open. Going to get the little card out here. So here's our card for this month. We have some stickers. We have an Eye of the Scorpion sticker. Uh, but luckily, this one doesn't have any hot sauce on it, because when my first bottle of Eye of the Scorpion showed up last year, it was broken, and I had to get a replacement, and the sticker was completely uh, like covered by it. So we've got a couple more stickers in here. Pull that out of the way. There's another Eye of the Scorpion sticker, so two of those. And then our normal, just heat in this sticker. So first one up here, we're just going to get the worst one out of the way to start. I mean, I don't know what the other ones taste like, but I know I'm not a huge fan of Eye the Scorpion. So there is Eye the Scorpion, um, Scorpion Pepper Sauce, from last year, I believe it was from the game show. Uh, so let me get the card out here. So Hot Ones, Eye the Scorpion, it says, Completing our Season 14 run is Eye the Scorpion. The stinger of the sauce you may also recognize from the second round of Hot Ones of the game show. Originally from the island of Trinidad, scorpion peppers are some of the hottest in the world with a bright upfront heat which, um, that will clear the nostrils and bring a tear to your eye. With both fresh and dry scorpion peppers and not much else besides a pinch of salt and garlic, I the scorpion is potent enough to be part of some serious gumbo or some April Fool's pranks. Again, not a huge fan of this sauce. I've had, I believe this is the, I think I've had three scorpion sauces from Hot Ones. This one, of course, being my least favorite. There was the Adobo Loco one, which was, um, I forget exactly what it was called, but it was basically a scorpion pepper sauce. That one was very liquidy. Um, it was it was all right. Um, the other one from the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Company, they made the Poirier's um, Louisiana-style sauce. That one, again, I'm not a huge fan of scorpion peppers, but that one from the um, Heartbeat Sauce Company, or whatever the company is called, is a little bit better. But again, this is Eye of the Scorpion, so we're just going to start here and get this one out of the way first. Uh, let's check the ingredients again on it. It's... Ingredients are just scorpion peppers, distilled white vinegar, um, what's this, canola oil, garlic, salt, and scorpion pepper powder. So powdered peppers as well as um, fresh peppers, I believe. Give it a shake up here. Let's move that out of the way. And again, this is, again, Eye of the Scorpion. Yeah, and it smells really, really powerful. Um, again, when the first bottle showed up last year, the bottle was broken, and it, like just the like the aroma like resonating off the box because it was kind of like covered in the sauce was just really, really, really strong. I mean, that's probably too much, but there is the... I had the scorpion sauce on this bread here. Yeah, still really, really hot. Still not a good flavor either. I think the, the way I've used it recently... Is more tolerable because I actually mix it into. Um, I have hummus in my refrigerator, and it's supposed to, supposed to be spicy hummus. It's not that spicy, but um, I've been adding hot sauce to it to kind of just make it spicier. And one of the uses of that, I've been using either scorpion with that. That makes it a little more tolerable, but just on its own, it's just fairly unpleasant. I'm not, again, not a huge fan of this sauce. So to set that down. I hope I just didn't ruin my palate for the rest of the video, though, so we'll have to see. Alright, so let's see what we have next. So that was I the Scorpion. 
Next up was a Pugabot one, so this one may probably be might could be pretty hot too. Or it might be a little bit milder, but um, next up is Puckerbutt Pepper Company Smoke and Ed's Picnic Sauce. So it says, the softer side of Smoke and Ed. Ed shows his versatility with this medium heat sauce made with al fresco um, dining in mind. Floral cucumber combined with carrot juice, sweet scotch bottom peppers, and tart vinegar. Garlic, mustard, tarragon, and and ginger season everything for flavor that's balanced, balanced and bright. A must-have at the first cookout of the season. It's equally great as a relish for burgers or for spicing up a summer salad. So let's see what that one is. That is the... Grab it out of the box here. That ice scorpion is still really spicy. So this is the Smokin' Ed's Picnic Sauce. There we have it there. Really like Smokin' Ed's Sauce. He, he's basically the creator of the Carolina Reaper, creator of the Apollo Pepper. I really liked, I think the last sauce from them was the um, Chipotle Express. That one is really good. So let's check our ingredients here. So we have cucumber, carrot juice, or carrot juice made from concentrate, scotch bonnet pepper, um, which is peppers and vinegar, Apple cider vinegar, um, onions, garlic, garlic, um, what's that? Dry mustard, kosher salt, tarragon, ginger, and coriander. Yeah, coriander. So let's go ahead and give it a shake. And they're saying this one is a medium. The so scotch bonnets are still fairly hot, but they're not nearly as hot as like uh, like a habanero. I think habaneros are hotter than that. Give it a little bit on the bread there. So there we have it. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, definitely a milder, much milder sauce than the Eye of the Scorpion. But yeah, I could definitely see myself using this. It's like, again, not too spicy. Pretty good flavor as well. So again, that is the uh, Smokin' Ed's Picnic Sauce. From the Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Let's cleanse our palate out here. Now you got one sauce to go. Let me grab it out of the box. Go ahead and move that aside. Move that away. So here is our sauce. This is the Karma Sauce Cosmic Dumpling Far Out Hot Sauce. So the yeah, Cosmic Dumpling Far Out Sauce. Let me take a look at the list here. Move that. Let's see what we got. So Karma Sauce Cosmic Dumpling. It says, fun fact about um, Gene from Karma Sauce. Before he started making hot sauces, he was an engineer working on space telescopes for NASA. Cosmic Dumpling's name is an ode to his work beyond the earthly bounds and also to <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And also to the sauce's outworldly flavor. Earthy tamari collides with citrus, garlic, tomato paste, and a heaping dash of sesame to create a heavenly binary of sweet and savory. Big dumplings, spring rolls, and more for an um, explosion of flavor. Or use it as a marinade for grilled chicken and launch your taste buds into space. Kind of, my nose is running a little bit from that um, I the scorpion. So, definitely, it's definitely hot. But again, I just don't care for the flavor. But um, here we go. This is the Karma Sauce Cosmic Dumpling. Uh, let's see what our ingredients are on this. Listen. So, ingredients are red wine vinegar, red jalapeno peppers, tamari, which is water, soybean, salt, and alcohol, um, brown sugar, orange juice, garlic, tomato paste, fresh tomatoes naturally sourced, citric acid. Lemon juice, honey, sesame oil, ginger, um, culantro? I, I, is it cilantro or culantro? This is C-U-L-A-N-T-R-O. I've always spelled how to see, see it spelled the other way, but uh, culantro and orange zest. Go ahead, get it open. It smells pretty good. Go ahead and pour some out here. Looks good. So there we, there is the sauce. Kind 
Kind of definitely has like a um, kind of like an, like a Chinese like Asian kind of flavor to it. I remember Jay Job Jay Jaguar had a similar flavor. So not super spicy, but uh, pretty good in flavor. It's a pretty good sauce. So that one, this one, fairly mild, and then it goes up from probably a heat level. Is the um, karma sauce is definitely the most mild from this box. Follow that by the smoking Ed's picnic sauce, and then the, of course, the Eye of the Scorpion, which. Again, it's probably going to take me a year to use this bottle. I'm not a, again, not a fan of Eye of the Scorpion. So that is going to do it for this video. That is three sauces, two that are new, one that is returning. Uh, if they return a sauce, I would really like to see them do, like, Thor's Hammer again, or um, the Brain Burner. Brain Burner was in my very first subscription box back, like, last February, February of 2020, and Brain Burner was awesome. It was a Carolina Reaper sauce. It had like a really sweet flavor to it at the start, and then it just the heat from the Reapers just hits right right after that. That was that that's one that I wouldn't mind seeing come back if they're bringing back old sauces. But again, that's gonna do it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you again next month with another video. I want to thank you again for watching and take care.